Hey friends, this is what happens when you have sample subscriptions. Not only does it happen when you have sample subscriptions, but when you are a frequent customer of some drug stores, every time you go in to buy something, they give you a sample and you end up with all of this. <clears throat> now, I call this my, it started out as my sample stash, then after a few more things went in, it got to be Sample Insanity. Today it is called Sample Palooza. So we are going to do a Purja Palooza today. I'm really tired of this because it's just overflowing. I have so much stuff, it's ridiculous. I noticed in my closet I had a lot of stuff, so I got everything that I don't wear anymore, threw it into a bag and took it down to the new to you shop where they, you know, it's a consignment store. So anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, what I have done is at the beginning of December I decided I was going to start using these samples up and even though I belong to two subscription sample services um, I use up more samples in a month than I would get from them so that's a good thing so this is sample palooza <laughs> and we're gonna start with a purge palooza the question before I start to show you all of the items that I used up for December is about Miss Jessie's Baby Buttercream. Does anybody use this stuff? Um, it is a sample that I got. It's two ounces. Um, if you open up the lid, you'll see that I did open it. The only reason I opened it though was to just to smell it and to feel the texture of it. And then I realized what it was and I realized I can't use this stuff because I have straight fine hair and it's really good for curly kinky hair. So if you have curly kinky hair and you really want this, would you just like, you know, send me an inbox, your name and address, and I literally will send this to you because I don't want it and it's just gonna end up in the garbage. So I'm gonna move my camera now to show you my December empties. Hey everybody, oh look, it's my closet. Oh God. Yes, I went through my closet today and decided to try and get rid of some things. So I ended up making a lot of room in that closet, believe me. Okay, December empties, all samples, mostly samples, I should say. Um, the first thing that I went through was this a new Reversalist night cream. Empty, yay. Um, it's not a bad cream. I find it a very good one. However, it doesn't do really well in my skin because my skin tends to go towards the sensitive area. So I won't be getting that again, but I'm glad I used it up because I did, I think it came with something I bought. Not positive. Anyway, it's gone. Yay. Um, the next thing that I used up, oh, this looks horrible. My mother went on a princess cruise and she gave me some stuff from the cruise. So uh, Lotus Spa Eucalyptus Conditioner off of Princess Cruise Lines. Empty. I loved this conditioner. Um, I don't know if it'll go with my hair with different water, but in the shower I currently have, um, it's really, really nice stuff. I liked it. June Jacobs Body Balm Citrus. I think my mom gave me this too. It came from a hotel. Um, I wouldn't buy it though because I went online to find out about this stuff and it's really expensive. So I'm not gonna spend that kind of money on a spa collection citrus body balm, even though I really, really like it and it smells like a million dollars. It's so nice, very citrusy. The next thing I went through was, surprise, I found another one. Oh God, please let this be the last one. Tommy Bahama, very cool body shower gel. I don't wanna see this stuff again, but I must have bought three of them and not even known, God. Okay, that's the last one, all right? I'm not losing my mind, really. Uh, so yeah, gone. The next thing that I went through was the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Face Wipes. Definitely would buy those again, I love them. Uh, they feel really good. They take off all the makeup that I need to get off. And um, yeah, I don't know. They're really good. There's no alcohol, no oil, no perfume, no dyes for naturally healthy looking skin. So I was really happy about that. And maybe that's why my skin is reacting because of all the dyes and the perfumes and God knows what else I'm putting on there. I'm becoming more aware of the things that is that are going on, the things that I use on my face and what the ingredients are that are in them because uh, of the videos I'm watching on YouTube actually. The next thing that I went through was the Dirt. Yes, the company is called Dirt. 
Uh, and that was the Sweet and Spicy Sugar Scrub. Loved it. Absolutely loved this stuff. It smelled so, so good. Yeah, it was like a, a coconut vanilla. It was just, it smelled really good. Didn't like what it did to the shower. I mean, there's oil in it, right? So everything kind of gets a little slick. And I mean, I had to clean the, the tub out after I used it every time. <laughs> I just, I don't like a dirty tub. So after you use a body scrub that has this much oil in it, well, you're gonna end up with a slimy bathtub. So anyway, I really liked it. I would get it for sure. The next thing I used was another dirt product. Purifying Glow Salt Scrub. Would I ever use it again? Absolutely not. Never in a million years. There's a big difference between a sugar scrub and a salt scrub. The difference is the salt scrub hurts. Do you remember when I talked about pain in a stick, about that eyeliner? This is pain in a jar. If you have any sort of uh, scratches on your body or little scrapes or anything that you may not even be aware of, God, it could be a paper cut, this stuff is gonna hurt. And I think obviously it's because of all the salt in it, right? So I won't be getting a salt scrub. I learned my lesson well. Thank God it was a sample and nothing I had bought majorly. So next thing I used up was the Bath and Body Works Signature Collection Dark Kiss Shower Gel. And it came in this bottle. It was a, I think it was a purple or blue stuff. Um, I, I liked it so much that I even tried to put water in it to, uh, to get everything out of it. It just smelled so, so good. I loved this stuff and I would definitely get it again. I would buy it in a full size in a heartbeat. I'd buy anything from Bath and Body Works. I love them. This one was, I think it's almost like a no name from Shoppers Drug Mart up in Canada here. It's called I Love Coconut and Cream and it's a bubble bath and shower gel. And it was really nice as well. It smelled very, it wasn't really strong like the Bath and Body Works stuff can be. It was kind of a faint smell of coconut and vanilla almost. Anyway, it was really nice. It did not have bubbles that lasted long. I will say that, uh, the bubbles didn't last. But uh, it was good for a shower gel, not as a bubble bath though. I wouldn't get it again. I think it was a gift that somebody got me like six or seven of them in a box. The next thing that I used up was a Mary Kay perfume. All gone, thank God. I've only got what, 20 left? Uh -huh. um, it was called Journey, I think, and I liked it. I really, really like Mary Kay perfumes. I don't know what it is about that stuff. They just smell really nice. Some people will say that Mary Kay smells old ladyish. I don't think it does. I think they really smell pretty. But then again, some people would say because I'm over 40, I'm an old lady and I don't think I am either. Uh, next thing I used up was something that I don't think Avon even carries this anymore. It was the Super Curlaceous Mascara. Does anyone know if they carry this anymore? Because if they do, oh God. It's definitely used up. It's as dry as they get. Huh. Whacking it here on my hand, hardly anything coming off. So yeah, um, I can't find it in the brochures anymore. I don't see it anymore. So I'm thinking they probably don't carry it, but it's used up, it's dry. I must've got four months use out of that, using it all the time. And you know what? This stuff really did curl my lashes. I'm gonna tell you that. It really did. And it felt really good. It, there wasn't any clumps. I would get it again if I could only find it. Two more samples that I used up. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> One more cough for the road, eh guys? One more thing that I used up was the Aclos Plant Stem, Plant Stem Cells Anti-Aging Cellular Activator Face Serum. Lovely sample. It lasted over two weeks because you don't need a lot of serum on your face, but it lasted well over two weeks. I got at least 14 uses out of this stuff incredible. I know it's on sale somewhere in, where in the town that I live in, but uh, yeah, I would get this stuff for sure because it didn't affect my face at all. No marks, no acne, no pain, no nothing. Recommend it strongly. Uh, another thing that, well, it's not totally used up, but it's only going to be two more days in December and it'll definitely be used up. The Cyberderm H2O Hydration, you know, that little needle thing we all got in our packages there is this much left. It goes right to there. So that'll be all done in like two, three days at the most. Love this stuff as well. Holy Moses, did I ever like it. It did not also give me acne. It didn't give me dry patches. Um, it didn't do anything. It's almost like these two together are beautiful combination. I don't know. 
but I'm not too sure what I'm going to do when that runs out. I guess I'll have to go through my sample box here and see what else I have. But yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm using up as many samples as I can get through because I don't really want to spend all my money until I go on my cruise and really blow it then. But uh, I don't want to spend more money on buying more moisturizer, buying more shampoo, conditioner, or anything because I have so many samples of it already. I think it's just best to get through this stuff first before you go shopping. That's my new outlook on all of this. So it's gonna be a shop my stash deal, I think, for quite a while to come. Have a great day, guys. Talk to you later.